I was a student of Bill's uh, back in, uh, starting in 1984, so it was a little bit ago, just a little bit. And uh, ever since I had my first class with Bill, I knew that I was going to have a person in my life that was going to be uh, someone special. And uh, the first class I ever had with him was in this lecture hall at UIC in this big concrete jungle that some of you who went to UIC may know about. Uh, yeah, just all just concrete. I mean, there was nothing soft about this place. And we were in this lecture hall and Bill comes up to uh, present. And at the time he had a slide projector. And, uh, you know, there was no video, none of that. It was slides. And uh, he puts these, gets these slides set up, and he starts presenting this, this incredible, the class was Foundations of Industrial Design. And he started to present this, this uh, kind of utopian idea of how we could all live together in this, on this uh, blue marble. And it was, it was, Ever since he started talking, I was sold on this method of just really, you know, using wind, using using the, the sun, using using uh, things that are free to us that we could power our lives with and do things without causing this crazy, you know, stench of exhaust and and billowing smoke and and all this stuff that harms our environment. But anyhow. He, he puts up this wonderful little uh, photos of, of uh, this little community, a couple of houses with a windmill up in between, and uh, proceeds to tell this absolutely incredible story on the entire ecosystem and how it would work. There would be f uh, a small pond that fish would live in uh, to create uh, a sustainable uh, fish farm that the community could eat from. Uh, waste and, and you know net, uh, basically organic waste from the homes could go into a, uh, a little compost area that would be used to fertilize this great little uh, community garden that everybody could eat from. The power that everybody needed, you know, just came from this windmill. Heat, water pumping, you know, water usage, gray water. He went through it all. Black water. How it's all going to work? And it was it was absolutely amazing. And I proceeded to, whenever I had a chance to take courses and sign up for courses, I, I always uh, went to, you know, took Bill as uh, one of my professors. And uh, he was just incredible. What I loved about him the most was really how he worked with all of his students, not, not just me, but, but all of them. Um, he would approach another person who wanted to learn with just an incredible sense of an unassuming nature of care, and I would go far to say as love. Because when he would deal with people and he would work with people, he had this kind of unique mannerism about him. He would kind of come up to him and he'd be like in this rather, you know, kind of neutral, kind of uh, contemplative pose thinking, okay, what, what am I going to do now with this next person? And he, would, and he would approach them and just be totally and fully engaged with whatever they needed, however they needed to get to the next level and what they were trying to do and what they were trying to accomplish in the study of industrial design. And he just did that all the time. Cool. And I became one of those guys that was always going to him and always working. And, and, and in, a, in a kind of a neat thing here, through my time with with working with Bill and talking to Bill over the years, so it's '84 up until last year. Um, I know a little bit about each one of these projects that are up on the wall, and I'm really proud to say that because he we would talk and we would get on the phone and talk for an hour, an hour and a half. And of course, you know, there would be something about the repubs, and there would be something about the Dems, and there would be something about somebody doing shysty. And, uh, and uh, you know, I'd say, Bill, 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 come on. No, let's, let's stay on this, you know. Um, 
but we had a great time together and um, he was an incredible man and I do believe he's here with us right now. I know he is and I know for a fact that he would want us to be partying like crazy and he would want us to be laughing it up and enjoying ourselves together and just really having an incredibly, incredibly good time. And so I hope we all do that. I want to get to know all of you. Uh, Lisa, I want to be, you know, part of your family forever. Good, you are. And, and um, you know, you, you, you are uh, an incredible lady. And I know how much, you know, you've all gone through it because I heard about it from Bill. So, so. Uh, so. My big brother. Look at this. So he was with me. I, I was in the Iraq war from 2004 to 2005. Bill sent me an email about every other day. Uh, you know, how are you doing, Mike? How's everything? Is everything okay? You know, are you still, you know, are you still safe? Are you, I'm concerned about you. I'm, I'm, uh, you know, just worried and I'm hoping that, you know, you get home soon. And, uh, I, you know, you remember people like that when you go to war and he was one of those guys and, um, uh, Bill, I, I'm going to shut up now and no. I'm no, just no, going to no, say, no, no, no. <laughs> I love you, Bill. I know you're here. Um, I will love you forever. I can't wait to see you in the afterlife. And um, um, I love this family here that you've put together. Awesome job. Thank you. Mike was a son to my dad. Absolutely adored Mike Saubert. Um, one of his favorite students. And um, he did, he, he just... You are dad, you know. Now you have to go out and, and do everything dad taught you. So. Yeah, you're right, you're right. And the earth, the earth needs that. So, okay. More than ever. Yeah. So please. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Uh, Another wanna, story? Any anybody? Okay. If not, we'll have me more music. Thank you. Okay. Right. Oh, you want Leah? Aaliyah. Aaliyah, do you want to sing? Where's Aaliyah? She's turning the music off. Okay. Bye. Bob, yep. Becker, yep. cousin Bob, oh, come on up. Uh,